changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a fresh Let's Play of Fallout 4. Um, interestingly enough, you can change the appearance of both characters in this game, whichever one you choose to play as, and the other one. So I'm gonna take a minute and uh, make my guy, and I'll see you guys in a second. Well, welcome back to our now completed uh, lovely couple here that we'll be starting this game as. And uh, I am going with the male character. So, there we are. Hey, hon. Hmm, just getting ready. Okay, so this is the beginning of the game. Uh, life seems quite happy for us here in our cozy little home. Uh, playing this on the PlayStation 4. We're going to go see Cogsworth. Morning, sir. Your coffee. One... Thanks, Cogsworth. Of course, sir. I'm kind of cut Cogsworth Rodney off. Rodney the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Uh, never going to find that dog. This dog is missing, guys. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. You gotta love them sugar bombs. Hmm. More the same. Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Shaw. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Shaw. I love my bourbon. It's a little early to be drinking. Everything seems quite cozy here, indeed. Quite cozy, yes, sir. White picket fence and all. Good old USA. I'm so proud of her. She's got a law diploma. And I'm a veteran. Settles it up quite nicely. What do we got in here, huh? Nuka Cola? Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Salisbury steaks? They are my favorite. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A plus. It's that salesman. He comes for you every day. Oh, I hate salesmen. 
I'll tell him to buzz off. Good morning, vault Tech calling. Now, for conversations, uh, triangle usually expands. Square is a uh, joke response. X is uh, positive. The circle is negative. That's the general gist of it. Vault Tech, remind me again. Why we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure. Yeah, we have to, so. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so here we set our name and our stats. Uh, let's see. Give me a second to type this one out, guys. I'm going to try to make it something simple. Uh, because sometimes your droid, your machines, will actually tell you your name. So that's pretty nifty. Now, uh, let's see, strength I want above average, perception's a little average. Endurance above average, charisma average, intelligence above average, agility average, luck average. Okay, we got four more points. One in strength, endurance, and a couple in intelligence. And that'll do for now. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Johnson, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Yeah, might as well. Gotta go do the dad thing. So yeah, uh, I haven't finished this game yet, so this will be a legitimate, uh, well, mostly. I am playing it solo as well, so that might spoil some of it. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see Look me. at those arms, man. I am jacked. What? What's wrong? You can switch to third person on the PlayStation 4 by hitting the touchpad, pushing it. Yes, followed by flight. 
flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my god. We we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, you go first, Nora. Nora and Sean, my wife and child that we barely know. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Alright, as you can see they got the road cut off. There's a soldier pointing people off to the right here. You hear the vertebrates. Some nice scenery. It's a shame it's uh, such a bad situation. There's a bit. You can't stop me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm recording this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Mind me, fellas. And you God two, help follow us me. All. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. This guy sure is slow. Another soldier Step showing us where to go. In the center. We'll jump on. Switch to first person. Nora and Sean Almost are here. There. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Oh my. Look at that. Hold on! Oh boy, here it comes. Shockwave, get down, get down. Ooh, just in time. Just in the nick of time. Yeah, I decided to start fresh. Uh, it's been a while since that original save, which I have since lost anyway. <laughs> but it is what it is. Mr. Mrs. Russell? Nora? It's just a Mr. Russell. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. That's the overseer Another back there with the shades. Underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. is here for you. All just this way, please. Please proceed. Help. 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 This way. Step over to the table and take a seat. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Objective marker move to the doctor. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Sir? Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. How, how long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your Don't mind me. I'm just trying to come from my infant son here, doing dad things, you know. Nothing Vault Tech would know about. <laughs> the pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Depressurize? Uh, I think you guys got that backwards. We depressurize when we go up. Resident secure. 
occupant vitals. Normal. Why did this guy lose his breath all of a sudden? Procedure complete. Oh. Complete? In. Oh boy. No, quite what you expected. They turned us into a popsicle. Things never go as expected with these damn vaults. Sounds like I'm coming too. Well, we can see, but we can't move. What you, what you guys up to? What you up to? You letting us out? You gonna go on an adventure? Hey, watch it, mister. Watch it, mister. I'm not giving you shot. Oh, oh no. Oh no. That's bad. That's very bad. Yeah, I'll show you some backup, buddy. Let me out of here. Yes, our tragic origin story. Our wife is dead, and our child is gone. Must escape from this vault and figure out what the hell's happening. But how? So worked up, buddy. Pretty sure we're too late. He did. I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. I promise revenge. Oh God! Why would Voltaire do this? Malfunction in cryopod manual release override. Can't be the only one left. Hello. Hey. You try all of these, but you're gonna Anyone? get pretty much the same result each time. Why? Why'd they do this? Uh, yeah. You can check this terminal here, and it'll tell you. It'll give you some background information, and uh, all the systems are down, and uh, you can check each individual uh, thing here. And there's us, Red Johnson. Remote override engaged. But everyone else. Pod door, manual override engaged. Can you check the others? They all turn up like this one. Deceased. Asphyxiation due to life support failure. And they're all going to be like that. Mrs. Abel, Mrs. Abel. All the same. So yeah. Apparently the life support shut down and everybody else died. But that was only after they opened Nora's pod and stole Sean. So naturally, our goal is to get the heck out of here. It certainly isn't a, a good looking start, huh? Alright. So let's see what's been going on in this vault since we've been put on ice. Now we can keep following those markers, but we can also explore. Uh, I'm an explorer at heart. I like to explore. Alright. This is another set of pods. It's gonna be the same result. And you can get the same information from the terminal here. Uh, yeah, so the purpose of this vault was actually to experiment on cryogenics and to freeze everybody. Uh, see, there we got a new vault jumpsuit, contrary to ours, which has been frozen. Coffee cups, just grab everything. Clipboards are good for springs. You can do a lot of crafting and customization in this game. Uh, 
So yeah. So, now this is the way out, but it's locked. Can't get there. Okay. Okay. The toolboxes here, they usually have adhesives. This one's empty though. Got another wrench. Uh, hammers. Unfortunately, these tools cannot be used as weapons, even though practically they could. Okay. Yeah, we got containers with nothing. Oh, look at that thing. That's a big sucker. Ah, that's no good. So we got our first weapon, baton. You swing it with the playing on PlayStation 2. It's the R2 button, and you can lock with the L2. You have to time it right, of course. Naturally, they gave us a weapon when we see something uh, pretty nasty. Nasty little bugger. Uh, now, to this side, we have this little security office here. Okay, let's see what we can recover from here. You can sit in chairs for all the good that does you. There's nothing in there. A coffee cup, Coca Cola bottle, cigarettes. Out here, stim packs are very useful. Coffee cup, nothing in the cabinet. Another bottle cup, another clipboard, another cigarette, and a lot of nothing. Here's another terminal. This one gives you a little more of the background info of uh, how they were basically just testing cryogenics, and we were supposed to be frozen for 180 days till the all clear came, but the all clear never came. So <laughs> that's that. All right. Nothing, nothing. Gotta look out for bugs. Big bugs. I'm gonna whack him. Whack him good. Well, that's not good. Maybe that's why the life support failed. Who knows? Okay, now we're on the other side of that glass there. Where the bug was. Yep, there he is. And I'm just gonna run up and smack this mofo. There you go. Some rad roach meat. Giant yeah, that's a rad roach. Roaches? Yep, -er. Hell. And they're about as much fun as they sound. Another security baton. Okay. Uh, here's a water fountain. The water fountain in vaults is usually clean. When you drink it, it restores your health. Um, but I didn't get hit by that thing, so I'm in pretty good shape. Now, that continues on to the next area. But we also have this little side area here that's so worth checking out. Uh, this is the rec room. Again, just take everything for now. Oh, I didn't mean to sit. That was a mistake. Well, you get to see me in my vault suit, looking all buff and impressive. Um, but yeah, let's just get up. <laughs> I think the graphics here hold up pretty well, at least by my standards. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty simple guy. Uh, it's definitely got plenty of bugs, though. It is, uh... It is Bethesda, after all. And they are known for their bugs. Okay, so we got some more beer bottles. These are empty beer bottles, I believe. Coffee cup, another beer bottle. Uh, cigarette carton, lighter. Now we are going to use this terminal. This is the recreation terminal. Uh, and this actually has a hollow tape in it. And we'll tune it in real quick. The Red Menace. Which is, uh, yeah, it's basically Donkey Kong. Complete with the little, uh, at, an intro animation there. <laughs> Just throwing, uh, atomic bombs there instead of, uh, Okay, and I died, but that's fine. Uh, exit. Yes, quick game. We're gonna eject the holotape. That means we take it with us. And we may have something in the near future that allows us to play holotapes, which would be quite useful for this. Um, we can check the fridge, there's nothing in there. Okay, scrounge around up top. Hot plates are good, they're full of screws and circuits. Same with the toaster. Uh, all very useful things. We have a bathroom here. Uh, not much in here. Nothing in the toilet. Nothing in the shower. Okay. Pretty typical. Uh, this is a the kind of game where you're going to spend a lot of time looting. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. Alright. Uh, there are beds. You can sleep in the beds to pass time. Uh, we don't need to do that, though, because so this is all scripted. Uh, once we get to the top, it's going to be daylight regardless, because that's just where they want it to be. Okay, I'd have sworn that there was something in here back in the day, but every subsequent playthrough, I haven't found a damn thing. 
Not a thing. So, you know, that's that. Um, so that's a little wreck area. At least we got a hollow tape out of that. Not much, but it's something. Here we're in a new room, and there will be baddies. There's a dead Brad Roach that was struck by lightning there. And uh, we should be encountering one or two more, if I remember right. Not seeing anything else. Yeah, there's another Brad Roach. Okay. Should have should have bobbed when I weave. <laughs> oh, oh. There we go. More rad roach meat. I'm grabbing this meat because uh, we can't eat it and it'll heal us. But um, there are other methods as well. Look at that guy. He's seen better days. Where is everyone? There's a dead rad roach. Uh, nothing to see over here. Nothing else in there. You could run and get that rad roach's meat if you wanted, but. We're going to have plenty of rad roach meat by the time we get to the end of this. Oh, R1 can power attack. There you go. There you go. Okay, so two more down. We have a nice water fountain here which we can use to heal ourselves. Thank God it's a vault water fountain. So it is purified. And we are in... The, uh... Is this all that's left? This is the what you might call the overseer's office. We got some stim packs here. Uh, we got our first gun, 10 millimeter pistol, pistol, excuse me, and some ammo for it. More battered clipboards. Also, a set of eyeglasses that can kind of blend in if you're not looking for it. But that is the overseer's eyeglasses, and uh, the overseer's terminals right here. Now you can go through the overseer's logs, basically. Uh, the all clear never came, so he never opened it. Uh, he's got a prototype cryolator that we're never going to be able to open right now. And uh, eventually the whole crew mutinied, and he locked them all up. They basically starved to death, as far as we can tell. We just want to open the evacuation tunnel. And uh, that's the end of that. And there you see the tunnel opening. Uh, but we're not done checking stuff out yet. There should be... A few more things of worthy note to us. Okay, now first we got this area over here. We got more ammo. You want to make sure you grab all the ammo you can. An extra gun you can use for parts or to sell for bottle caps. Here is the cryolator. Uh, as you see, we need nice master unlocking to get it. So we can come back later for that, like you said. A uh, Voltec lab coat sometimes doesn't spawn in there, so just be aware. You may or may not get it. Uh, preserved cigarettes. You cannot smoke in this game, but you can sell them for some money. Also, there should be, yep, more ammo in here. Okay, should be some drugs in here. A stim pack, very good, very good. Nothing hiding in the toilet or anywhere else. Okay. Alrighty then, so now we just continue on. Um, let me scour around, make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think there's anything. Here we got more money, pencil, bobby pins we'll use for picking locks, of course, just like in previous titles. Uh, maybe in the future I might do a Fallout 3 playthrough, but that will be in the future. Now we have lots of roaches down here. I'm going to get as close as I can before I trigger them. Is there one shot each? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now there might be one left. I'm busting out this for it. There we go. None left. None that's coming up. Oh no, one's coming around the corner. I could have beaten them all with the baton, but uh, why not put get some gun use in there? Reload that sucker. 
I don't think there's any more. They will, enemies will turn up on your little compass at the bottom of the screen there is, you know, little red slots. You might have seen them as I was uh, shooting them. To holster your weapon on the PlayStation 4, it's holding square, which is also the button that reloads. It's also the button that transfers stuff. So, uh, just to be aware of. So now we've gone full circle here. Ish. <laughs> Go around, come around here. We got a couple more of these buggers. I'm going to try and get close to him again. Didn't even need to use my AP on him. Here's the other one. I knew you were around. Yeah, when you kneel, it makes uh, the accuracy a little more stable. And it also makes you a smaller target in a firefight. So, it's just something I get in the habit of doing. Uh, mostly for fun. Is anyone alive? No, no they're not. <laughs> I can answer that question for you. And okay, so here's the controls to get out. If you try to use them now, Pip Boy interface required to activate vault door cycling sequence. Have a nice day. Pip Boy required. Well, this poor guy here happens to have a Pip Boy, but I don't think he's going to need it anymore. So here we go. Fallout's version of a portable computer. Not quite a cell phone. <laughs> now it's updating. And this will help keep track of our stats. This is basically our menu for the game. Uh, inventory management's here. You level up in here. And uh, select your weapons. You can change gear finally. Uh, now it highlights on the figure there, like where it goes. So, like, eyeglasses are on the eyes there, the top of the face. Uh, we can replace this jumpsuit with the new one. Statistically, they're the same. We can also wear a lab coat. Now, why the lab coat is glowing all that armor means uh, it's not compatible with the armor pieces that we'll eventually start picking up. So you will get stuff like a leather armband, a leather chest piece that you'll be able to put on top of the jumpsuit, which does grant uh, radiation resistance. But um, if you're wearing this lab coat instead, it will not... Uh, it will not turn that up. I'm just going to put that on for really just shits and giggles. Okay, here you see we have Red Menace. We can play it again in here. I listed the junk we've accumulated. Uh, mods, ammo, all that stuff. And you can switch with L2 and R2 between the tabs. And eventually we can access this map here as well. A uh, pretty big area, at least to me it seems. And uh, well, you guys will see when we get out and about. So that's everything there is there. Let's uh, get this gate going. I do like this game because they included a lot of extra little animations like this. You know, it would have been very easily just to push the button and the thing starts. But here we got this nice little interaction, which is great. Yeah, we can't cross until it's done this whole process anyway. Opening the vault's always been kind of a special occasion in the Fallout games, so... Or at least the standard ones. New Vegas was, uh, was a bit different. Here we go, buddy. You can do it. There we go. Alrighty. Whew, that is bright. That's not even outside yet. Now you can see the walkway extends. And there's a part of it down here that just shot down as well. Uh, we can also see around here a little better. I'm pretty sure we covered that. Yes, buddy, you are. Another chair we can sit in. Um boxes we cannot examine. So we've got more ammos. More ammos. More 10 millimeter rounds. Uh, there's an underwater area you can check. There's nothing there. We're just going to head on through now. And here's our elevator that we came down in. And it's already coming down for us. So we'll head back. There's nothing else here to do. And that's that. So we're about to escape the vault and see what has happened in the upper world for the first time. Alright, um... That's gonna be a thing there. Okay, now, before I do this, I'm gonna save. And I do suggest you do make a hard save here. You can keep it separate if you like.
okay? Because once we go in here, we can change our appearance and our stats around a little bit. I'm actually going to call this video here for now, uh, and I'm immediately going to jump into the next one. But this has been uh, our first adventure in the first episode of our new Let's Play Fallout 4. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, take it easy.